I wanted to share this video about the integration between QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks Enterprise because it is a question that I receive almost every day. As you may know, QuickBooks Point of Sale is one of the most powerful point of sale software out there. What I love about it is that it is set up for a multi-store setting. That way you can transfer inventory between stores. It allows someone who is at the headquarters store to see everything that is going on on all the remote stores. The integration is fairly easy. The installation is actually the easiest I have ever had to deal with. But if there are a few things about QuickBooks Point of Sale that if you did not know upfront would really frustrate you. And that's the point of this video. I've got three items that I want you to know about QuickBooks Point of Sale before you get a headache. <laughs> well, I'm gonna help you avoid a headache. All right, so QuickBooks Point of Sale, I know it is not the cheapest one out there, but I've also watched it work in high pressure areas. So you can have a lot, of, a large amount of volume when it comes to transactions and never have to worry about it. I have worked on a couple hundred stores, so I've had experience working with QuickBooks point of sale. Now the QuickBooks point of sale integration with QuickBooks Enterprise is where people get frustrated. And it's just because they do not know what it can or cannot do. Well, there are limitations. You should know about that. So for example, let's start with the first integration that brings me the biggest questions. That has to do with the integrating the inventory list. Guys, if you have your inventory items in QuickBooks point of sale, you automatically concede that you will not use it in QuickBooks Enterprise. It's either one or the other, but when you make the two of them work, it is QuickBooks point of sale who manages your inventory. That means you cannot have QuickBooks point of sale and QuickBooks Enterprise and then want to do the mobile scanning with the brand new Enterprise mobile scanning. So it won't work. So every time that you have QuickBooks point of sale and QuickBooks Enterprise together, point of sale handles the inventory. So you will still see the list of all, all of your items in Enterprise because you need to pay your bills based on the purchase orders that you made and those items will be listed on your Enterprise but you really cannot manage your inventory. So the solution is simple. Before you buy QuickBooks point of sale, ask yourself, what am I trying to accomplish? Do I want to sell at the cash register and also and protect some of the information that I show my employees? Or do I want to do advanced inventory with barcode scanning, uh, mobile scanning, and integrating to a website, integrating on the cloud, then if that's the case, if this it's the second one, go with QuickBooks Enterprise, okay? So you have to know that when it comes to the inventory in QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks Enterprise. All right, the second part that is sometimes frustrating for someone who has never dealt with these, okay? And some of you out there might be techs, you know, you have a computer business and the customer made you uh, fill this, uh, install this and then you can't fix this. All right, it is the conversation between the vendor tables. That is the most frustrating one. And I wish Intuit would change this because it is so, dis it's a distraction and it is a headache. What happens is when you take your vendor information from enterprise, and you plug it in to QuickBooks point of sale. It does not let you select who sees what. So if you have a big company and you have 5,000 vendors, your stores will see that entire list with 
every single one of those vendors. And that's awful for people that have a multi-level store and have thousands of vendors. And there is no way of turning that off as of right now. And the, when I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about QuickBooks point of sale 18. You can't turn that off. And then the third one, it's not the last, but it's also something that people need to know. It is the customer list. And if you didn't know, you can, so you can track your customers and because if you have QuickBooks point of sale and you have QuickBooks Enterprise, chances are you are allowing some of your customers to charge on account. Okay, so that's how it would work. So somebody who's going to charge on account needs to have a credit limit. And when you go to QuickBooks point of sale, you're not going to be able to change it there. The credit limit has to be set in QuickBooks Enterprise under the customer center. As long as you know that that's where it works, then it won't stress you. So I'll go back to the three items I just covered. When you do the inventory between QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks Enterprise, QuickBooks Point of Sale wins. When you integrate your vendor list between QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks Enterprise, you cannot turn off or on who peop, who your customer your employees can see or not see when you have you're dealing with the customers to enter the credit limit you go to quickbooks enterprise enter that limit and then when you do a financial exchange it will sync with quickbooks point of sale all right i know this is not even half of what i, I can tell you about quickbooks point of sale uh, and QuickBooks Enterprise. And I hope that as you are making the decision to purchase QuickBooks point of sale or purchase QuickBooks Enterprise, that you will take a little bit of time to do your research, ask questions before you get set up because it, these are very powerful tools that can help your business grow. But if you do the setup without knowing you, it will frustrate you. And I don't want you to be frustrated. So that's the first video on QuickBooks products. I'll have many more of it. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. Here's a demo of some of the things I was telling you in the video. I want to start with showing you how to enable your store, uh, your financial exchange. To do so, go to the um, first. This will only work if you have QuickBooks Enterprise and QuickBooks Point of Sale installed on that workstation. And if you have that, you can click on Financial Center, open the screen, and you will see what I'm showing right now, which is the Setup menu. You press Set Up QuickBooks Desktop Connection now. You only have to answer one question, which is, to sync all the existing customer uh, customers from QuickBooks Enterprise to QuickBooks Point of Sale. After you click that, your connection is set and you can now run a financial exchange. And to run a financial exchange is very easy. You go to, back to Financial, you click on Update QuickBooks, then it will bring all the credit limit information, the account balance information, the vendor information into QuickBooks point of sale from QuickBooks Enterprise. And I'm using a test store, by the way, so the numbers may look weird. Now, uh, next, uh, very, uh, this is something that a lot of folks I've talked to have learned the hard way. Because you would think that the credit limit would be in point of sale, but you will look for it for a while. To set up the credit limit for your customers that charge at the point of sale, you go to QuickBooks Enterprise. You find the customer that you want. So here we have the example uh, of Eloise. And so you click on the Edit Customer button. I have an arrow there. You go to the payment settings, you'll click on that, 
and after the payment settings there is a box that says credit limit and that's where you enter the credit limit for that particular customer and then you run the financial exchange again and bam it will show up on your point of sale until you've actually made quickbooks point of sale and quickbooks enterprise talk to one another that quickbooks option that you see on the last screen will not show up that's all i had for you today and please subscribe for more videos on quickbooks point of sale and quickbooks